Hey, yo, YouTube, so we do it all straight from the garage. Got a 2010 Blue Buick LaCrosse here. And we're gonna be doing valve cover gaskets on this one. Um, doesn't look too complicated, but looks like we're gonna have to take this intake off. Of course, the air box has to come off, then we'll take the intake off. And I believe once we get the intake off, then uh, we should be able to have access to the front and the rear valve cover gasket. So we're going to start with taking this air box off. Looks like it got some T27s on there. Looks like about, I don't know, five or six of them. So I'll get the T27s off and then we'll come back. All right, so I got the air box off. Hey, we do all family, man. Don't do this to you. Don't do this to your car. All right, if you need a, a hose, snorkel hose or whatever, run to the junkyard and pick you one up. Don't try to tape it together because you're gonna have a serious intake leak and it's gonna throw codes. So, just a word. It was T25s, by the way, and there was like eight of them. Then, of course, I released the two clamps to get that off. All right, so next, I'm gonna pull this throttle body because if you look at where it's situated, it's gonna be hard to get the intake up because it's sitting under a car. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Maybe you don't have to, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. So I just released the wire right here. It's just a little clip connector. Push down and pull it out. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back. Oh, these look like tens. 410 so 410 should release that and of course you're going to need to replace the gasket if you decide to do that all right guys so i'm glad i removed the throttle body um because you got these dm connectors down here behind it that would have been impossible to get to but basically with these you just lift and pull and they should come out so those are easy um and then there's some assorted hoses. This hose is gonna have to be released from the bottom. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. This hose is gonna have to be released from the bottom because I don't think that comes out. And then um, we just have to release this here. Let me get some light on that for y'all. Sorry. I should be able to see that now. So we got some assorted hoses we gotta remove. Uh, doesn't look too bad. So I'll actually get into it and remove some of these hoses. And then I'll come back and tell y'all exactly what I did. Alright, so for this hose right here, you can release it. Oh gosh. Let's see if I can get a better sign on that for you. This is it right here. This has got a, a little clip on it. You pull back on the tab and pull up, and it connects. Camera down in here. It connects right here. And you just pull that up. And these two holes right here. There's a clip. You take the clip off, and um, you can move those to the rear. And then you have this hose here. So this is a regular clamp. Pull that off. Once we get those, it looks like at that point I should be able to remove these six bolts on top of the intake or there might be eight um i have to figure out what this is here and get that off also so i'll be back all right guys so oh let me turn sideways so i got a uh, there's five bolts one two three four five and there's one here in the front that has to come out so i got those five bolts out i also took off the uh the little coolant return line here because it was going across from the uh, overflow to here. That's the actual radius, well, yeah, overflow. So now that I have those off, I'm wiggling this thing a little bit, and uh, there we go. Looks like she just released. So I'm gonna need both hands to take this off. Once I get it off, I'll come back. All right, fam, now that we got the intake off, it looks like uh, we got a straight shot to the valve cover gaskets. So valve covers, Looks like you got one, two, three, four, five, and then five on this side, the tens. Of course, you got to remove the uh, coil packs, 
And then um, once you remove the coil packs, man, this car, it's got a lot of miles on it. So everything's brittle on here. As you can see, it's just falling up. All of the wiring looms and everything's just falling apart. But I'm going to go ahead and cover this intake up after I take the gasket off because I don't want to get any debris in there. And the back one looks just the same as the front. Um, as you can see, coil packs out. You got a couple little connectors in the intake, but nothing crazy. Take out the 10 bolts and uh, she should release. So we'll get to working. And if I come across anything crazy, I'll let y'all know. This is an indicator that you need your valve cover gasket changed. Um, when I pull this coil pack out, as you can see, it's oil soaked at the bottom, which means the cylinder also has oil in it, which is a good indication that your valve cover is leaking. And that can foul out your plugs and cause all kind of other problems. So, you know, we're not doing this job for no reason. Um, valve covers were definitely leaking, but you can kind of see it anyway. But uh, just wanted to show you all that. Anyway, I got the coil packs out. Those are three tens. And now I'm going to work to release this wire harness that's going around. And then we'll take the, what did it say it was, 10, 12 bolts out. And we'll get that removed. All right, guys. So one more word of advice. So one more thing you got to do. You got to remove this uh, power steering fluid reservoir. It had a 10 millimeter bolt here. And then it has a, a, a tab on the front that you just lift up on and then you can pull it and move it out the way you got to move that out the way to get to this bolt here so then y'all know all right guys so up here you got three wires let me get that light in here all right so i got three wires i had to disconnect from up here and then once you disconnect let's get this light right man all right once you disconnect the wires then you have a plastic tab down here. It connects right here. You release that tab, those pop up, and you got another bolt that's hidden under them. So, all in all, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bolts in the valve cover on the front side of the engine. We should be able to release it after I uh, take this boat out. All right, fam. So front valve cover gasket is off. I didn't do anything besides what I told you guys. It has this extra little piece here in the back. And once you remove those screws, I gently tapped it. I got a rubber mallet and she came right off. Actually, the valves in this car for having 230,000 miles, it looks really good looks really good so obviously they were doing oil changes and taking care of what they need to take care of so it's gonna be the same procedure for the rear valve cover I do the exact same thing remove the bolts remove the coil packs give it a light tap and she should pop up all right y'all so rear valve cover less bolts in the front one um, still had to take off the three wires in the front, just like we had to do in the front one. I believe those are cam phasers or cam position sensors. Anyway, those had to come off. And then um, once I was able to get the bolts out, we have a valve cover. You see the bolts. If you move this little deadener out the way, you can get a good... Uh, picture of the bolts on the back side of the valve cover but as you can see there's five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen in the back everything is pretty simple um, nothing really to remove so take the coil packs out take the wires off three wires up front 13 bolts and you have your valve cover so I'll go ahead and get that covered up and we'll get these valve covers replaced and put back on um, if you guys have any comments, man, please leave them in the comments section. Always like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. And uh, until the next one, peace. All right, guys, so I figured I'd do an update video real quick. Um, got the valve covers off. 
I got this one done already with the new uh, gasket and the O-rings. Um, when you get your set, it'll come in a box if you get Fram, which I got. And it'll come with all these little uh, rubber grommets. So you got to take the rubber grommets off of the old bolts, which is this black piece. And then you put the new one on. Um, how I took them off, it's going to be tough to do with one hand, but I'll show y'all somewhat. So what I do, I got this pick right here. I take this pick and I run it through the top of the grommet all the way through. And then what I'm going to do is just go around the grommet. Let me see if I can put this down. Okay. So all I'm going to do right here is go around the grommet until the grommet pops off. So as you can see right there, the grommet is basically off. Uh, so I just went around it and then once you get it around that lip you should just be able to uh, pop it off from there of course like I said it's, it's difficult with one hand but if you got two hands this is real easy um, uh, let me see if I can make this make this happen but you guys get the picture just go around it and uh, it'll pop off. And then once it pops off, you just take the new one. I put a little old grease on the edge of it and just slide it right back on. And that's how it looks with the new one on and the old one off. And you got to do that for all, I want to say it's 25, 30 bolts. So that process takes a little while. And then the next thing you got to change is these O-rings right here. Uh, these are the new ones. So, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, so with the O-rings, um, the method I found that works best is I stick a screwdriver right here in the lip. And once I put the screwdriver in the lip, I'm gonna hit it a couple times with my hammer and it should pop out. Hey, hold this for me real quick. Just point down here. Can you see this? All right, so I'm gonna take my screwdriver, pop it, and the old one comes out and then you can just go to the bottom here wipe this little area out put your new one in and you're done so that's how you that's how you do the uh, o-rings and the grommets that go on the bolts